Hey, 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 YouTube, it is your girl, and I am here with a product review. So, um, I haven't done a video about supplements in a good minute. I have tried supplements o plenty <laughs> before to get my hair to um, wake up. So, a little bit of backstory about my hair. I have fine, thin, 4A natural hair. Um, I have a little bit of a little bit of 4B at the crown area, but primarily it's 4A. It's like 85% 4A, like a little bit of stragglies that could be can considered 3C, but I'm just gonna be in the 4A party. Um, when I first went natural, it was basically just going naturally curly. I was flat ironing my hair. I would go to the salon and get it, you know, flat ironed and things like that. But I decided, let me just stop with that. Although, um, my hair was growing. I had great length. I had, it was great. But when I went naturally curly, um, I saw the heat damage. So I chopped off a good, good portions of my hair. And when it curled, up, I would have to say that my hair was like ear length like it I have really really tightly tight tight tightly coiled hair and shrinkage is mother because when you guys see my hair in its natural state it looks like I ain't got no hair it look like I have a holly berry cut and it's that that ain't cute on my plus size brown face it's not hot not for me mm -mm. no ma'am so my hair it decided when it went curly. I went through the whole product junkie phase and my hair couldn't adapt. It couldn't adapt to all the products I was trying. It couldn't, it didn't know that it was protein sensitive. It, it just had a, a fit and my hair did not retain any length. I was looking at my ends. I wasn't getting any like serious breakage or anything like that. It would occasionally shed. You know, I learned that I, I couldn't do the whole coconut oil thing. It just, it was a whole learning process. And for three years, my hair just said no. Everyone was telling me, oh, it's just a phase. There's just phases in hair. For three years? No. So I've read books. I heard I was reading about lead hairs. I've tried different methods. I've tried pro protective styles. I've tried the curly girl method. I've tried. <clears throat> it was a complete catastrophe. So I last year, well, t today is a brand new year. So this is the first day of 2016. So happy new year to everyone. So last year, which was yesterday, <laughs> last year, um, in the summer, um, something clicked and my hair <sighs> spoke to me <laughs> so um i came up with this whole new method um of me it's not even really an, it's just a modified method um of how i finish off my hair so you know it's liquid oil cream and for me it's really liquid oil cream butter and then it has to be done in the shower and it's a whole again video to come but once I started doing that um, they, they always say um, don't measure it let it be let it do what it do I'm not that girl I'm gonna take out a ruler I'm gonna take out um, some measuring tape and I'm gonna measure it I'm gonna see how my hair is reacting because I need to know because doing the same thing over and over and over again that and you're expecting a different result that's like the definition of insanity or some crap like that. <laughs> and no, so all those things wasn't working for me. So I measured my hair to make sure that I was believing what I saw. And what I saw was growth. I finally, finally figured it out. But three years of no growth, finally getting a little bit of growth. It wasn't enough for me so I've tried um, herbal supplements in the past I've tried um, doing the omega-3s I've tried um, Ayurvedic herbs and those were pretty good 
very expensive and gave me a bad aftertaste and I was not about that life anymore um, and I've tried just a plethora of doing things internally so now that I, I had the external of what I wanted to do with my hair on lock I still look cute so it's that part is working for me um, but internally it was a challenge I tried different diets because I wanted to lose weight at one point and right now I'm comfortable I decided this year I'm just gonna dress the body that I have if I lose weight hallelujah if I don't I'm not gonna stress out over it because it was taking up too much of my time I just want to be healthy so now that I have that on lock I am healthy I have my checkup, my physical, so I'm good to go. I, of course, the doctor wants me to lose some weight, and we're going to work on that. So if it comes off, it comes off. <laughs> if it doesn't, don't stress me out about it. Um, so I needed something else. I needed something else that was going to give my hair the extra oomph, the extra kick in the pants. So I tried Hair Affinity. I started taking Hair Affinity right around Thanksgiving time. So it's been a little bit over a month. So this is my first update video. I've been posting pictures um, on Instagram. If you follow me at Makeup Vixen, I am on Instagram. And I started off, you see the pictures where you gotta, go, you gotta go weeks, 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 weeks back where I started doing the modified lock method. And then I started posting pictures. Um, the last picture of my lock, modified lock method was the day that I started Hair Affinity. And then I did post an update. And what I wanted to measure the most is my bangs. If you follow my channel for um, a while now, that whole 4B section, I was confused about it. And so I cut. <laughs> a good portion of the top of my hair off and that whole 4b section has been pissed off at me for a long time i've been at for like five years so it's been pissed off at me a long time i decided to i read a book talking about lead hair and the growth and stuff like that and to just don't cut it and just let it be let the rest of your hair grow and then whatever you cut off is going to want to grow and catch up with the rest of it so i was having a hard time dealing with that i couldn't do uh, tutorials on styles and stuff because my hair it was just it's just uh-uh no ma'am it, it was not hot it was not cute so i took uh, i took one for the team y'all and i had like this ugly face <laughs> of hair and everything and it was not cute so I said this year, let me just go ahead and get my life together and it's time for me to be cute with it. So, um, now that I've been using Hair Affinity and I have been doing protective styles, so this is actually a protective style. You know, this, I put it. this is my hair <laughs> this is my hair right here in the front the actual part right here where there's no curls this part is the wig so if you look at the wig and you look at my hair it is like my hair is actually longer than the wig um i wanted to get like a a gold wig so now i am surpassing my gold wig because in the front my hair is actually longer than the actual wig um so this is a protective style that i have been using for a little bit over a month when i um, started the hair affinity journey so i'm only going to talk to you about <laughs> the hair up here because that this is this is me this is my real hair so um i would have to say when i first started hair affinity my hair came down to about right here because I had on a towel when I measured it so when I pulled my hair my hair came down to about right here and my, that was my bang area because again I did cut it short and over the past couple years I've been growing it out hoping that it will come come back down to the sides of my hair so now that last month December I did the modified lock method 
on my hair. I put it in protective styles. It wasn't always in this wig. It was in one of my curly wigs. It was just like my everyday wig. Or I would have it pulled back in a ponytail or a bun. And I would call it a day. I wasn't fussing with my hair. I wasn't uh, testing a whole bunch of products and things on my hair. I kind of, you know, after five years of being a natural and being a reformed product junkie. I say reformed because I do collect stuff that I love. But I'm not collecting a whole bunch of stuff that I haven't tried before. So doing that for a whole month, being consistent with it and taking my supplements, I was able, my bang now reaches in the picture. It does reach past the heart. So it comes down to here. I was able to get almost two inches in a month for me again three years of nothing so almost having two inches in a month is unheard of it is unprecedented that alone told me that hair affinity is the one for me now i was telling my friends about i was telling my family members about hair affinity and they're like oh my god your hair looks good and so on and so forth so i was telling them what i was doing and they were like i heard about that they got side effects. I'm like, um, for me, not so much. And I'm the queen of side effects. Like, if any type of medication that you take and it had a negative side effect, it's going to happen to me. I'm the one that's going to pick up on it. I'm going to pick up on everything bad in something before anything good starts coming out in the product. That's the type of person, I don't know, it's in my blood. That's just, that's what it is. That's what it is. So. I didn't get any type of crazy side effects. However, I did get three pimples. And it wasn't no typical run of the mill pimple. It was painful. Oh my God, it hurt. It hurt to talk type pimples. And I got it within a week of me taking Hair Affinity. On the bottle, it says to take two pills a day. I did that and those pimples came. It came on my nose. You can kind of see a shadow of it right there. It's, the skin is a little bit dry right there. So right there and then two, one came right here and one came right next to it. So for December, I really didn't record any videos. <laughs> when my skin is a catastrophe, I'm not coming behind this camera so y'all can see the uh-uh. No, I'm still trying to catch, honey. I I'm single. No, you don't need to see that part of my life. So, um, I didn't come on. I ended up, after a week, I ended up contacting the company like, hey, um, I want to try this. And I've been using it for a little bit like a week and I got pimples. What do I do? And they said, oh, well, you're not drinking enough water. That's pretty much a given for me. If you follow my, my weight loss journey and stuff videos, me and water, mm -mm. no boo-boo, mm, no. I'm not a soda drinker, I'm a juice drinker. I just refrain <laughs> from like drinking, like I really only eat like one meal a day and a snack and I drink when I'm thirsty, I'm just not that thirsty. So I had to, it was no other option. The, the whole topical creams and skincare, it was, <laughs> most pimples laughed at it so three days I stopped hair affinity I didn't take it I, I basically flushed it and was drinking water 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 they said to drink at least two liters of water and that's that may not sound a lot for a lot of people but that's a lot for me you know just two liters hold up uh-uh what do you mean like that stuff gotta come out like no then I don't I don't like the feeling of feeling full and heavy and that's what water was doing for me so I took one for the team I took the hit I started drinking water and I felt better <laughs> the pimples weren't as sore so I'll let me go ahead and I'm just going to take one pill I just have been taking one pill a day for almost three weeks now so you know it's open I have used it um, I do have a jar that comes like this, so this one is not open, so I have two jars. Ah. So, um, I want to go ahead and come on and do, this is like my first impressions video of it. This is what 
the little pills look like. You guys know, like, I read the ingredients. I know what different ingredients do to the skin and the hair. And I know it's the biotin in here that had caused um, my pimples. So it was strong. The writing on here is really, really small. It is 2,500 MCGs. Um, and that was too strong for me. So what I did was I scaled it back down to one peel a day I have been drinking water um, the pimples are going away they're just going away mighty mighty slowly I did get the length that I wanted in my hair the feel of my hair um, you guys know about the do I have to go over the sebum like you guys know about the sebum and the production of the oils and stuff and you know curly versus straight I don't know if I need to tell you guys about it because that will be a very very long video but because I'm doing a modified lock method and because I'm taking this supplement the whole sebum of my hair and it going down the oil shaft and me not having my hair completely naturally tightly coiled because my hair shrinkage is whoo it is Teeny, tiny 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 it looked like ear length like hair like here but my hair is actually really really long um having that type of of curl that type of kink in my hair for the sebum to travel down each kink it, it, no it doesn't do that so i have to put on the oils i have so i was doing the lock method by putting on the oils but i was actually taking um hairfinity which was giving, um, was boosting the sebum in my scalp to produce and give it more oil to go down the shaft. Thus, more length retention, giving me more length and growth and so on and so forth. I figured you guys kind of already knew the history. I don't know if you knew like the history of hair. I, I read a lot of books. <laughs> I, I am that nerd so whatever um, so if you need me to go over that, that information let me know I've tried different oils jojoba oil they always say that's the close thing to sebum not this girl not this fine thin faux a girl jojoba oil does nothing for my hair that is not close to the sebum no 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 ma'am not jojoba oil not for me not this one so the other oils that I have been using it is very very close to the sebum of my hair and my hair is loving it so not only am i doing stuff topically or externally that helps my hair i am taking um or ingesting supplements that is also helping my hair um i know what hair vitamins a lot of people say is supposed to improve a skin and nails well this one only affected my hair this nail is chipped this nail is chipped um, and this is me using standard stuff that I always use on my nails. I put together a couple dressers and stuff for, um, the new year that I wanted in my son's room. And, you know, my nails chip and broke off. They're not really, really, like, really, really strong. So I do believe that hair affinity is the one for hair. It is concentrated towards hair, especially when it comes to me and my hair. So I don't know if it's improving the nail strength or... Um, the skin for other people but for me it's all about that hair life now I am posting updated pictures on my Instagram page I may do a blog post I have been focusing a lot a lot of energy on my blog so I may do a blog post about it um, but I wanted to come on here and give you this initial review on Hairfinity I like it does it work yes is it worth it yes do you have side effects i had one which was the acne um but because i wore makeup i'm a makeup artist do you really see them other than this one like that's really has this ump on my nose but when you know i turn here and you don't see it but i'm letting you see the shadow and I wear glasses, so it's really covered in a way. But do you really see them? No. So I can live with that if I'm going to get finally get that growth. So I'm going to continue to take Hairfinity. Hopefully by the time I finish the jar, this is the one that's open. Hopefully by the time that I finish the jar, I will have Rapunzel hair. 
probably not but um i will come back and do a post hairfinity review so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully i answered a lot of your questions but if i did not answer your questions please leave it in the comments remember to rate comment and subscribe if you guys like seeing these videos for me and i will see you in the next one talk to you guys later bye